We start the meeting. Start the meeting to order. First item on our agenda is approval of the April 2 minutes. You have those in front of you. You've had time to read them. I'll accept the motion to approve. So good. So I think there needs to be a change. Okay. Because it says Chairman Hansen. Mm -hmm. That was my fault. And I believe it was supposed to be Chairman Barnes last meeting. Well, let's make that change then. Any other changes? Not that Jim has done a good job. No, oh, no, that wasn't any kind of a reflection of activity. <laughs> it was, was a... <laughs> Corrected what it's called. That's right. Proper names. Some corrections. Yeah. Yeah. Any other corrections that you found? Those in favor of the minutes as corrected, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. All right, the minute motion passes. We have a call to the public. We've got uh, a podium here. We'd like you to use that podium and, and microphone. You'll have three minutes each if anyone wants to speak. Um, this is the time to do that. I'll keep track and give you a little bit of a heads up when it's time. Please state your name and tell us where you live, your address. Yes, Mr. Barnes, if you could just give me a 30 second heads up and I apologize for my voice, folks. I'm suffering from something, so I may take a sip once in a while just so I can continue talking. I'm Dan Nugent from Pella, living in French Cop Village. I've been uh, involved with this uh, project for some time. I'd like to raise uh, a point. Thank you, Ms. Blumgren, for noticing that in the minutes about the error. And also, hopefully, that you have looked at the proposal today. I think it's Resolution 32. Uh, the hopefully it's an admin oversight showing Chairman Hansen to sign the paperwork versus Chairman Barnes. Is that a major deal? Maybe not. Could just be an administrative oversight, or it may be something more important. As a commander taught me many years ago, commander, leader, good mentor taught me, if you miss the little things, how as a supervisor do you know you've missed the big things? You're about to Later on today, go into closed session to talk about spending 40, you know, spending some money to purchase some land, something like that. And this board is going to spend 40 to 50 million dollars on a proposed airport. So, my question is, how do you do that supervision as board members? I'd like to bring up one point. We're going to pay. You're going to vote to pay Mr. Surreal and his company some money for the public information meeting. Was anyone there? At the public information meeting that you have tasked your third party contract to attend, not one board member went to listen to the public, except for one staffer, Mr. Nardini. His role was to coordinate for the contractor and the public for the meeting. You're going to spend $40 million and you don't show up at your own public meetings? Do you listen to the public? Here's the big concern. You are public members on a public board representing a public project not your civilian, your daily civilian, daytime employer. You're responsible to the public. Are you listening to them? You don't even show up at your public information meeting. You're responsible to me. Yeah, I said that. I'm a member of the public. You're responsible to me, the folks here, the media, whatever section of the communities that you represent you're responsible for them. Are you listening to them? Is this administrative oversight? Yes, it probably is. I agree with that. Okay, is it a big deal? Maybe not. But it's the impression, again, of staffers doing the work, looking at a quality control, and then you as board folks, before you publish something or look at something, review something, you take a look at some of those things. The daytime employer versus the public entity, you're Legal counsel can, can advise you on your conflicts of interest. So you have to be very careful. Please, Thank you very much, sir. So, Mr. Chairman Barnes, I'm very confident that you'll improve the supervision of your staff members and your third party contractor. That's the only point I want to kind of bring up during this speech. Thank you very much. That must be the three minute ring. <laughs> Sorry, yes. I appreciate your confidence in me, Dan. Anyone else? I'm John Bantra of Oskaloosa, Iowa. Um, I was reading the Oskaloosa Herald and came to a notice here. 
that uh, the city of Oskaloosa has paid the city of Pella $19,304.94 on the, on the May 6th city council meeting. Time and time again, this board has stated that there will be no tax dollars be spent for this. This is all be funded by the federal government. Obviously, this is not, you know, not correct what you've been telling me. I know you're shaking your head, Jim, but you're one of them that has said it. And I would also like to ask a question on this board. The master plan presented by your Jerry over here lists the concrete at eight inches thick on the runway. We all know that that's not a reasonable concrete for a thing, and our highways are much thicker than that. My question is, when this runway gets built to that spec and uh, fails, who's going to be responsible? Is it the board members? Is it the engineering firm? Or is it going to be the, the entities you represent, like the cities of Oskaloosa and the city of Pella? And my other thing is, you're, you're purchasing land that you've been going to a uh, work sessions some of you, not all of you, but some of you can go to work sessions about moving a road. Shouldn't we be taking action on what to do with the road before we purchase land that may is still under question because of a court case coming next spring in February? Sounds like maybe the cart's in front of the horse. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Seeing none, we'll move on to item four, resolution number 32, entitled Approving the Amendment Number Two for Task Order Number One with HDR Engineering Incorporated. You have that resolution in front of you. Is there a motion to approve this resolution? So moved. Second? Second. There's a motion, a second. Uh, is there any clarification anyone needs? Yeah, I would just offered that we amend the signature line for the chairperson to reflect that can be done chair. And, easily and enough. And I apologize for that, uh, that error okay. was an oversight. We just recently made a change in leadership, so it's not a big deal. Anything besides that? Self-explanatory error. Okay. Those in favor of this resolution say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Resolution passes. Resolution number five, excuse me, resolution number 33, item five on your agenda, states uh, resolution number 33 entitling approving amendment number one for task order number two with HDR Engineering Incorporated. Again, this has Jim Hansen, chairperson's name on it. So we'll ask to have you change that also. Yes, Is there a motion to approve that resolution with that change made? Second. second. Moved and seconded. Any questions for clarification? Seeing none, those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed aye. say no. That resolution passes. Next we need, uh, for item number six, we need a motion to go into closed session. You want me to read this paragraph? It needs to be in the record. Okay, motion to go into closed this motions coming from me or coming from the board It'll, whoever makes the motion will right. you can read it and then someone can I will read it and then the someone motion. say make the motion all right mm -hmm. motion to go into closed session under code of Iowa semicolon chapter 21 section 5 subparagraph 1 period J period to discuss the purchase or sale of particular real estate only where a premature disclosure could be reasonably expected to increase the price the governmental body would have to pay for that property or reduce the price the governmental body would receive for that property. The minutes in the audio recording of a session closed under this paragraph should be available for public examination when the transaction discussed is completed. Is there one, someone to make that motion? So moved. Second? Second. The motion's been made and seconded. Those in favor of going to closed session say aye. 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 Opposed, same. We'll stand temporarily adjourned until we come back. Fair enough. All right. We're going back there. We're going back to the chief's office, I believe. Yes, sir.
back in session after a closed session. We need a motion. Okay. Would you read that for us I and then we'll ask for yeah. a motion to be made. Um, the motion before you tonight will be then resolution number 34, the resolution establishing the fair market value of property for the South Central Regional Airport to be um, received or to be obtained from the Ben Hoeklum Trust and the Heemster Family Trust. Is there a motion? So moved. Second to that motion. Second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. Motion passes. Any staff reports? Not this time, Chair. Sure. Then we won't set a meeting until we need one. We can set it by broadcasting via email. Should we do that? Correct. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. 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 Any, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, aye. same. The meeting stands adjourned. Thanks, Mr. Yes, appreciate nice your help. Good to see you, too. The closing of a real estate transaction. So okay. they are not available um, in accordance with the law yet. Until the draft, until the transaction discussed is complete. Is that what you're referring Correct. to? Correct. Okay. So since we don't know when that's going to be, I can send who that request. So whenever it's completed. Well, we should go to my. Okay. Yeah. So I'll, I'll be sending you two, one from the last meeting, one from this meeting. Yeah. So there's a record of the, I assume you have the audio recording because that's yes, minutes and audio recording. We have. Okay. That is correct. I'll send both those okay. to you. I think I had your email address. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, we're great. Thank you. Thanks for coming out tonight. Appreciate it. Have a safe trip home. I've tried to get out of that room. I'm scared with you. My wife has been doing very good. No, but as between work and. and you're going to draw that. I have been. I failed. Thank you.